Hello, Dr. Kim, the Hammond Doc. I have a Leslie 47 amplifier on my desk, and I'm getting ready to replace uh, the final coupling capacitor in this amplifier. Um, so in this video, why don't I just uh, why don't I cut it out, and then we'll we'll test the capacitor. Um, let me show it to you. Here's the amplifier. It's a uh, the, cap the capacitor is a, is a green Cornell Dubliar cap. And um, in the past, I've uh, I found that uh, these these caps are very durable and last for a long time. Much better than the the black cat uh, variety capacitor. But of course, I mean <clears throat> this is vintage. Uh, this is a vintage part, and it can wear just like the black cats wear. And um, and they need to be replaced. Uh, as well from time to time so let's uh, let's test this one let's cut it out of the circuit here and then um, we'll test it and what I like to do is I'll clip that and leave a little part on there just cause, so that I'll know as a reminder of uh, where I have to Put the new one in. I'll move this here. Turn on my machine. All right. And so this is a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. And. Uh, So, this capacitor actually is, is checking, it's checking within the, within the range. Okay. Let's try it again. Tell you what, that thing want to roll on me? I'll do this. Stop it from rolling. Won't roll now. Okay. So it's actually uh, checking. This is a 0.1 microfarad capacitor, and it's checking out as such 0.107 
microfarad capacitor. So I mean, it's just checking as good on my tester. That's what it's testing. Uh, let me pull a new one and I'll show you. Let's see what that one. Let's see what let's see what this will test. But it's, it's it's testing as it says, point one. So let's put a new one here. It's a brand new one. Let's see what it tests. So, as you can see, I mean, this is approaching point one. So, this, this green capacitor is testing basically uh, as new. However, when um, we play this amplifier, it's sounding murky. So, I believe that um, this capacitor is not holding up uh, under the, the the voltage under the current that when you when you put when you put current to this amplifier that this capacitor is simply not holding up under live performance now that's that's my belief so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that capacitor with a new capacitor and uh, then I'll test it again and thus test uh, my theory regarding the capacitor here, this capacitor, the ability of this capacitor to hold up under live performance okay so I'm going to go ahead and replace this and and I'll be back all right so until then peace out